Hi there, and if this is your first time here, I am a dog groomer and I make videos of dogs being groomed. Today I have a golden retriever here and I'm going to show you how I groom him. We start off with the bath and an undercoat rake, and I use the undercoat rake while I have the shampoo and the conditioner on him. It really helps to pull out all his undercoat. Look at all this hair. Now I'm blow drying him with a high velocity dryer. I'm going to dry his face off with a towel and then put him away, give him a break for a couple minutes and clean up my mess in the tub. Then I'll get him back out and finish blow drying him on the table. I'm just going to put a leash on him and walk him down the ramp and put him in his cage. Alright, all the dogs are trained to walk up the ramp. Once they do it once, they know what to do. Alright, I'm going to raise this bar up. Put him on the table here. Move the ramp out of the way. Raise him up. Now he is getting a number three blade all over. Usually in the winter, we leave him a little longer, but our winter is not that cold right now. <laughs> it's uh, March, and it's going to be 60 degrees today, so a lot of people go, they, they want the hair cut according to the weather, so we're going on the weather. So it's number three blade all over. I'm going to go ahead and finish blow drying him. Okay, this is a number three blade. I just want to show you the length he's going to be. I'm going to shave the inside of his ears with a tin blade very lightly, making sure I don't scrape his skin. Just taking little strokes. Keep in mind that any second he, he might shake. Because this is kind of itchy, you know, shaving the inside of his ears. I'm always careful for any signs that he's going to shake. 
so I can back up. <laughs> Just little stroke. If you take big long strokes, you might catch the skin and cut the skin. So I've learned to take little strokes, it's a lot more safe. Shave this ear out. This way I'm taking all the hair out so I can wipe his ears out and clean them out and the hair won't be in my way. Okay, I got some ear cleaner. I'm just going to pour it on a cotton ball and wipe his ear out. This ear looks really good. The other one's kind of dirty inside. He, he has allergies, so he always has stuff going on in his ears. His mother knows. I don't even say anything. She knows. It's like an ongoing thing with him. And clean the other ear. Oh, no, I'll let you see. Hold on. Here we go. See, that one's got a lot of goopy stuff inside. I think he likes having his ears clean. Look at, look at his face. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. This guy doesn't mind anything. All right, nice and clean. I'm going to go ahead and trim his ears up. I'm going to run my blade over his ears real quick and just trim up the sides. Somebody's going to be here any minute to pick up their dog, so I'm going to have to stop, put him away, and get it out. It's a little poodle. Okay. Come it all down. Just trim right around the edge. These scissors are slightly curved. I'm going to use my seven skip tooth blade just to shave the base of his tail. Gives it a little bit of style, makes it nice and short where he goes to the bathroom here so the hairs don't hang down in his poo poo when he goes potty. I'm going to get my slicker brush and my mat, I think it's a mat splitter, detangling comb. Just to brush out his tail, and I'm going to trim his tail up. See, there's different types of coats on Golden Retrievers. This guy has a very thick undercoat. So, there are field Goldens, and their hair is thinner, and they don't have as much undercoat. And then there's these big, furry, fluffy guys like him. See, look at this tail. <laughs> this tail is like, it reminds me of chow chow hair. It's, it's super fluffy. So he, his haircut is not gonna look good because he's got such a thick undercoat that the blade, it just, instead of going over the hair, it kind of goes in and out, in and out, in and out. And his mother, see I warn everybody when they want their, these dogs cut short, I mean, if I took them a little bit shorter, it would look smoother. You know, if I took them even shorter than this, because a lot of people like their dogs even shorter than this. But when you're cutting in the middle of the undercoat, it just, it looks choppy because the blade does not want to go through it. The longer blade does not want to go through it. So, um, I'm not done yet, don't worry. <laughs> but his hair still, it's just going to look choppy. And that's the way it is. Like I said, his mother knows. I've done this on him many times, this length. And it always looks choppy. Plus, certain times of the year, their undercoat is thicker. Like this guy, he sheds like crazy. He always sheds like crazy. It's just, I don't know. All right, I'm going to get my straight scissors. 
and just trim up underneath his tail is very long. Just going to hold it up, shake down all the hair. Got to have the TV on. I'm not allowed to have the TV on on YouTube. This tool just cuts through all the tangles. I'm just going to trim his feet up. I have my slightly curved scissors. I'm going to trim his feet and cut his nails. I've trimmed up all his feet. As you can see, his feet are all trimmed up. His tail is trimmed. His body is done. I trimmed out under his arms. Got all those scraggly hairs up from under his arms. And I'm going to go over him one more time because clearly you can see he's very choppy. So I'm going to run my brush over him. And that will that'll help the blade go through a little bit. But the thing is, it's just too thick. All right, now I'm going to go over him one more time real quick. Take this off. Get his neck really good. You stay right there. You're not done. I gotta open up all his folds of skin and shave between his skin folds. He's ready to go, and I'm just going to spray some conditioning spray on him. Hey, what do you guys think? What do you think is a fair price? 
After seeing everything that goes into grooming this guy, bath, conditioner, nails trimmed, ears clean, um, his haircut took a little over an hour. I mean, that's, that's a long time. What do you think is a fair price for this guy's grooming? I'm curious because I don't think I'm charging enough <laughs> because I, I'm afraid because he's so well behaved. I feel bad charging a lot, but um, he's a big dog. What, what would you guys pay and what do you pay if you have a golden retriever? I'm going to go ahead and looking for my water. My spray bottle. Hold on. I found it. I'm just going to spray some water on this baby wipe. Make sure his face is nice and clean. And I'm going to dress him up. He also gets a handmade bandana. So that, I mean, that should be included in the price. It's not, I mean, I don't charge for it. It's free, but I'm just saying. Take that into consideration. All right, so I have a slip over the collar bandana for him. I made it. It says... Junkyard dog. I thought that was cute. Are you a junkyard dog? Flips over the collar. He doesn't even know he's wearing it. Just hooks on. And you are ready to go. Tell everybody thanks for watching. Tail's nice and trimmed. His butt is nice and short. And he's ready for spring weather. And I know it's almost daylight savings time. So we will have longer days and you can stay outside in the sun and relax. Let me get my leash. Hold on. Walk him down the ramp. I got my ramp ready. All right. Let's go. He's a great dog. I mean, he, he's perfect. I mean, if there is, uh, if I had a favorite dog that I groomed, He's definitely one of them. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now hold on. Just want to show you how good he looks. There we go. Come here. Come here. Show everybody how pretty. Show everybody how pretty. Good job. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come here.